Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we are doing a White Company Dupes video, one of my faves. And today it's the seasonal autumnal one, which autumn, if you don't already know, is my absolute favorite season. I love September in particular. September is my favorite month of the entire year. I honestly like that build up to autumn, just the start of autumn. It's my favorite. So I was inspired by the fact that Starbucks now have pumpkin spice lattes. They inspired me to do this video. I've been around the shops with a coffee in hand and picked up some bits which I feel are great white company dupes. They've got quite a few new autumn bits in, a new scent. I do actually have a couple of bits that I've ordered from white company which I'll include at the start of this video. I have a brochure on order, the new autumn one, so that should be arriving in the mail very, very soon. If you don't know, you just go on their website, scroll all the way to the bottom, it says brochure request. You put your input, your address in. I do find I have to do it every time there's a new brochure. It's not like it automatically comes to me. So just bear that in mind because I know some people say to me, oh, like my brochure's not arrived yet. And I say, just try putting in your address again. And then it turns up. So yes, um, autumn brochure is in the mail, which I can't wait to receive with a nice coffee in hand and have a flick through one afternoon. Yeah, pumpkin spice is back. It's the season of the best drink of the entire year. Um, and I did get myself a large, so my absolute fave. I'm just gonna keep that there to keep me company throughout this video. And um, yeah, I've got a new fireside diffuser that is um, currently out in this room, so it's smelling like the white company in here. I feel like I'm rambling already. Let's just jump straight into it. So before I do share with you my dupes and my finds, my bargain finds up there, I will just show you the couple of bits that I did order from themselves, the white company themselves. So they do have a new scent, it's called Oak Moss, and I picked up the oil. Um, I really like to use my oil burner in the kitchen, I just have it going all day every day basically. Not all day every day, because I don't think you're allowed to do that. So I picked up an oil in the new scent of Oak Moss. However, I have also picked up a couple more, seeing as though they've got the wintry scents out, picked up another fireside and a winter as well. I do actually have a fireside oil out here at the minute, but once that's done, I've got that new one. These are 10 pounds each. It's a good one, guys. Let me just see how they describe it on their website. Okay, the fragrance scent notes, oak moss, sandalwood, and amber. I was gonna say amber, actually. Description is warm and comforting, and the scent family is woody. Imagine returning home from a crisp Sunday afternoon walk as the sun dips below the horizon to reveal the warm glow of dappled light. Curl up in a favorite armchair and let this comforting and calming scent featuring earthy notes of oak moss layered with warming sandalwood, rich amber and soft leather envelop your senses. Amazing. And then I also picked up one other thing, which I am obsessed with. I do have a dupe for it, which you'll see coming up soon, but it is a slightly alternative variety, which you'll see why I prefer this one. So this is their new, this is a new wreath that they have done and it's in dried linium. So they've kind of sprayed it white. So it's nice and fitting with my decor, nice and neutral. It's a good size as well. It's one of those ones that you could have it sat out on a table with a glass hurricane in the middle and a candle burning inside or you could obviously hang it on an internal door. I don't know if I'd risk putting it on my um, on the front of my door though, I will say that just because I feel like it's too pretty. So this white dried linium wreath is 38 pounds and I did find an alternative on Amazon, but it has definitely got more of the natural kind of green coming through. So it's also like fake, it's plastic. So I feel like this, I'd be more inclined to hang this on a front door that has the elements of the wind and rain. Um, it's got a little hook on the back to hang it. It's even like little holes that you could easily um, add to this, put like pumpkins in or, you know, just make it a bit more seasonally appropriate. Cause I definitely feel with both of these actually, that they're not just an autumn based wreath, but I would love having this out in spring as well and summertime. So, and winter maybe even with the white. Maybe not winter, because winter I quite like to go festive and Christmassy. But yeah, autumn, spring and summer, I would have that wreath out. So it's definitely 
more of an all year round, whereas this one, um, I've, I actually think I would prefer this in spring with the green kind of color coming through. I'll leave a link to it below. I'll leave a link to as many items, both white company and dupes I can find in the description box if you just wanna click straight on through and find some alternatives. But yeah, this is from Amazon. This was about 10 pounds. They do vary in price and Amazon, you know what they're like. They go up and down all the time. But that is my first little dupe that I have. The second one that I have is from B&M and it is duping the white company Jute round rug that they have. They do have quite a lot of varieties of jute rugs from big to small to round to square, rectangular, of which Ikea do some great dupes of the rectangular ones. But for the round one in particular, I found this, it's called the Nico, uh, what's it called? Nico woven jute rung, a meter rung, rug, a meter diameter approximately from the botanist range at B&M. Now it does say 25 pounds on it, however, this was in the sale at just 10 pounds. So I decided to pick it up. I figured it's kind of like summer appropriate as well, which is why they've maybe reduced it. I think I might pop that in our utility room actually, just as a bit of texture on the floor down there because it's quite like sparse and open. Another B&M find that I spotted, which I recorded in stock, so I don't need to buy them because I actually have the white company version and it's this two set of mirrored trays. These are square, whereas the B&M ones are rectangular. However, these ones are 35 pounds for the set. The B&M ones for the pair were only uh, five pounds. They were a little bit bigger as well, actually. So um, yeah, if you're after a slightly bigger, um, tray like these white company ones. They, they have the same edging as well with the kind of silvery chrome border and then the glass on the sides. So yeah, very, very similar, just a different shape. I think this next find is probably my favorite. So the white company now have a ladder. They call it the Marum ladder on their website, which they styled up in a bathroom. I think these as towel rails, towel storage do look lovely. However, our bathrooms are quite snug. So we have a space in our bedroom that I was thinking of popping this and maybe throwing a throw over it, a nice cozy blanket, maybe a sheepskin one as well for that kind of like added texture within the bedroom. So I found this one, I'm gonna have to like hold it back so you can see it. In the same way that the white company one does, it goes narrower towards the top. It does have like a bracket that you can put it against a wall and have it more secure. I just like it freestanding again, like I say, with a throw over it or something. The Marum ladder on the white company is 195 pounds. That bargain there, Habitat at Argos in Sainsbury's, was only nine pound 60. So, mega bargain. I'm obsessed with that one. We've also introduced some new terracotta planters. There's like a really nice wide big one. There's also one with a plate underneath, terracotta plate, and they are beautiful. The finish of them is lovely. Everyone's loving that kind of textured rustic finish, and I love it. It is actually quite easy to DIY if you just find a vase that you like and add some sand into some paint and paint it or use the rust-oleum stone paint which has a texture to it as well. The one with the plate at 25 pounds reminded me of this one that I have from Ikea at five pounds. Again, it's got that kind of textured finish to it. It's white and beige, nice and neutral. It doesn't come with the plate, so that's I suppose the only difference. Apart from that, it's very similar in size and texture and finish. So five pound, I think this one is a great find. So thanks to Ikea for providing us with the goods. So I had to include some pumpkin dupe. They have one on the white company this year at 20 pounds and it's a really nice medium kind of size. I've noticed Hobbycraft have loads of pumpkins in. They are priced anywhere from a pound for the smaller mini ones right up to six pounds for the bigger ones. I think they're like a ceramic finish whereby the intention with it being Hobbycraft is that you paint them, decorate them, design how you want. I just think keep them white and you've got white company juice. I did however just want to mention this as well um, as an alternative. This one's from Primark. It was six pounds. Primark Home have started bringing out some pumpkins again this year. I've got a little pumpkin casserole. They do a bigger pumpkin casserole dish as well. Then at $5.99 I did also buy this bag of pumpkins from Amazon. They're all white. They're much lighter. They're not that kind of heavy ceramic um, feel to them. See how the stalks on them are kind of like a rough as if they've literally just been picked. They've also been styling things up on their website with these wicker pumpkins. I'll include an image so that you know what I'm talking about. However, I've not seen them for sale yet. I have seen them. Who knows how much they are or going 
to be. However, I did want to mention these two finds. Firstly, from Asda. You may remember from my Asda haul, I got this pumpkin for five pounds. It was, um, it's not like a true wicker, it's just a wicker look. And then these ones from Hobbycraft are definitely better suited to more of a table place setting. And they've got that wicker kind of rustic straw almost um, texture to them. So yeah, you get a set of four, I think it's a set of four for six pounds from the Hobbycraft. Moving on to the next dupe that I have. It's not that, I wouldn't class this as a, a dupe. It's kind of an inspired buy. So they've got this new metallic leaf wreath on their website for five, no, five pounds, imagine. I'd be having it if it was five pounds. 55 pounds. And it reminded me a little bit of this one. I actually bought this last year, but it's still in stock this year at Hobbycraft at 15 pounds. And it's like a wheat textured wreath, which again, wouldn't look out of place on the white company. So I definitely think um, it's that kind of style but obviously it does look different, I'm not gonna lie. But the fact that they've sprayed it with this kind of metallic paint, really, really gorgeous, and 15 pounds is a steal for that. I also spotted one online on Cox & Cox, which in itself I love as a brand, and it was only 14 pound 50, and that wasn't a sale price either, so I thought that was really reasonable. Now obviously they've got that metal leaf wreath, but they also have quite a few leaf themed items. So they've got these um, bunch of three stems of leaves for 40 pounds. I've been on the hunt for some similar, but cheaper price. They've also got these little or hanging leaf decorations which they use as either hanging decorations or as table place settings you know to like wrap around your napkin I think they're 15 pounds for six so they're, they're fairly reasonable anyway when I was in Hobbycraft I did also see this ceramic leaf which I thought would be quite nice as a decorative bowl kind of similar to that jute rug that round one that I showed you they have brought out a jute doormat as well it's 32 pounds I have seen one on Dunelm for 10 pounds and even one cheaper actually on Wayfair for nine pounds pound and it was like nine pound and three pence really random but I thought they looked lovely again some other bits that I've spotted are their teak root bowl that they've now brought out that kind of distressed look to it I've found quite a few similar to that on um or in TK Maxx or online actually there are a couple as well from about 16 pounds whereas the white company one is 40. They also do a teak board for 80 pounds on the white company and I've seen online a couple of similar alternatives. Garden Trading do one for about 14 pounds and then that gorgeous brand is it called Nkuku or something like that? It, I don't know how you pronounce it but it's beautiful they have some amazing finds. They sell them on a website called Silver Mushroom. It's much smaller and of built for I guess a different purpose but it did kind of remind me the shape and finish to this one that I have I guess teak wood is far more um like of a darker wood this is like more of a whitewash finish but I found this recently in Sainsbury's again Habitat Home amazing I think it was about 14 pounds but I do love this I think it's gorgeous and then speaking of wooden things they also have quite a lot of new mango wood items they do this kind of candle plate or tray that you can use to pop your candle on I guess you could just go out and buy any round wooden chopping board and it'd be very similar done now I saw one for 15 pounds again it's just a wooden tray but could definitely be used for like a big wide botanical candle from the white company and obviously the white company ones are 30 pounds so double the price so they've got this rustic linen tablecloth for 185 pounds it's beautiful I do love a linen tablecloth I have one that I got from Wilco's for 10 pounds and I actually used it for popping at the bottom of our new olive tree that we got from Home Bargains that I have popped in our kind of cinema room downstairs in the basement so I really like the texture of it as the base and I popped it in a wicker basket from again Home Bargains at 7.99 they do this new rattan round table lamp I think it's called the Burford lamp at 140 45 pounds whereas there's one on Zara home which is very similar for 49.99 and then also on made there is one very similar for 36 pounds I also spotted something in store at home bargains the other day I took a video of it because it's very similar to the Hadston table it's like a mirrored table that they have on the white company for 275 pounds whereas the one in home bargains was the bargain price of 19.99. Another kind of cozy addition to the White Company, they've brought out this sheepskin door stopper. Now I have seen quite a few very similar in Dunelm. The door stop on the White Company is 45 pounds. The Dunelm ones are 10 pounds. They've got quite a few 
um, variations in that same shape in Dunelm. And then also even on Etsy, I've seen some for less than £10, very similar. And again, a Dunelm dupe of their sem similar kind of texture, the sheepskin texture, but as a draft excluder. They again do one on the White Company for £75, whereas the Dunelm one is £12. And yet another Dunelm find. I feel like there's quite a few Dunelm dupes within this video at £15. In comparison to £65 on the White Company is this new oak bath tidy. I've already got a bath tidy from the White Company, the previous one that they had that is now sold out. You could even just get a, um, like an old board, like either on Facebook Marketplace, a timber merchants, like old scaffolding, get the shape and just sand it down. And you can pick those up for like a couple of pounds or whatever from a timber yard. So yeah. Otherwise, the Dunelm edited life range that they do, which I love. It's just so aesthetic. I love it. But it's 15 pounds from Dunelm for the oak bath tidy that they do. And then again, whilst I was in Dunelm, I swatted some lights, like these lamps, which looked lovely. Really, really impressed with the kind of, again, te textured, like rustic finish to them. They had them in cream, black, and like a brown color as well, which I love. They call them the Santiago lamps. They're not the cheapest for Dunelm. They are 52 pounds. They come with a really nice linen lampshade and they kind of reminded me of the ones on the White Company, the Camber lamps, which are 125 pounds. As well as the Marum black ladder that they do, that black metal ladder, they've also got a metal rail. It reminded me of the ones that I hear, the Mullig range, I think they're called. They did used to do them in black, another color, maybe blue and white. We've had the white ones previously. I couldn't see online if they still do the black ones or not, but they might just be in stores, but they are nine pounds. So cheap in comparison to the white company ones at 225 pounds. And then one last and final item, which is a furniture item that I've seen on their website. It's called the Pentney table. It's like a side table wooden round three legs and as soon as I saw it on their website I thought that just there's so many varieties of a very similar alternatives in B&M they do quite a few furniture items in if you go to like the bigger home stores with the garden centers they've got a whole like furniture section of which they have so many different side tables and things like that and they're all varying in price points but they're usually around about the 10 to 20 pound mark to maybe even 30 pounds but the white company one is literally 275 pounds so quite a lot more i guess one final kind of cozy thing that i've seen that they've added to the white company are snuddies now i live in my snuddy i've got one over there that actually needs to go in the wash but it's one i got last year in fact let me just show you this one is from primark primark have brought their snuddies back 19 pounds they are they do disney ones they do um gray ones which are actually very similar to the gray ones that they brought out on the white company they are a luxury they're very cozy i've already been wearing that one down in our cinema room because when we do movie night because it's in the basement although obviously we've got heating and everything down there now it is like quite cool so it's been lovely whilst it's been warm and whilst we've had like a warm summer to be able to go down there and still get cozy in my study so yes 19 pounds from primark they're 80 pounds on the white company and if you've never bought a snuddy before primark white company wherever you get one from get one because they are amazing i have one from amazon as well i'll leave a link to one on amazon below because again they're similar price point to primark if you can't get down to one and prefer to shop online i'll leave my amazon one linked below but that is everything that i have got for this autumn white company dupes video i hope you guys have enjoyed it and enjoyed sipping on hopefully your pumpkin spice latte whilst popping your feet up lighting your pumpkin candles for this video and yeah it's the start of the autumn season i'm going to say the start but i've already teased quite a bit of autumn here on my channel already just because stores have been so early this year and on it but yes Stay tuned for upcoming future autumn content. I've got like a autumn home decor, shop with me, hauls, uh, decorate, cleaning, lots of vlogs. So yeah, hopefully you're excited for all of that and all of what is to come. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, do give me a thumbs up. It really helps out with my channel. And of course, if you're not already, I would love it if you would subscribe, stick around, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome uploads. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.